Pots, Pans, and Pioneers. Today we're going to be making fabric softener. Now there are lots of videos on fabric softener, so um, I'm not going to be trying to pretend that I'm the only person making fabric softener, but I'm recording this video for my video library for family members who keep asking me for my version of fabric softener. So what I've got here is probably a quart and a half of water one and a half cups of vinegar and I'm letting it heat up and I'm using distilled white vinegar and I'm gonna let it heat up I don't want it to boil I just want it to get to probably about 140 to 150 degrees so don't want it to be a rolling boil I just want it to heat up really nicely so once this heats up enough we'll be back and I'll show you how to mix it all together Okay, so what I've done is you can see I bought this. Um, I'm going to be using VO5 today, but you can use any inexpensive hair conditioner. So, and as you can see, this one cost me 80 cents. I don't know what uh, a cup and a half of vinegar would cost. I haven't done the math, but um, I'll let somebody out there do the math for that. But a cup and a half of vinegar and an 80 cent bottle of um, hair conditioner. I buy these at a big lots or a dollar store um, just to buy. I usually buy four or five at a time and just stock up so I'm never out of fabric softener. Um, this makes about a gallon of fabric softener. And I've got all my conditioner. This is the coconut um, scented one. So you can add to this. I'm just going to make making sure that the um, conditioner is dissolved. That's the only thing you want to have happen in here is just to make sure it's dissolved and you don't have any clumps or lumps or anything like that. So it looks pretty dissolved and I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off and let it sit here and cool, cool down. So you're raising the temperature to make sure you're getting your vinegar and water blended together then we're putting in the um, conditioner to make sure we have no lumps I'm gonna stir until I think it's really creamy and white you could use any scented uh, conditioner that you like the smell of it um, I would suggest not spending a lot of money on hair conditioner for fabric softener but I've seen some videos where people like a particular scent and um, they prefer to spend a little bit more money um, and make their own fabric softener. Okay, we're gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna add some essential oils and I'm gonna show you the way that I use it in my dryer. So we'll be back. Okay, everyone, we're back and this is warm to the touch. So I've got, remember, vinegar, water and always use distilled or filtered water because you don't want you want you don't want mildew gathering in your in your fabric softener um, anytime you're making cleaners or anything like that you want to really make sure you're using distilled or highly filtered water don't use tap water out of the tap because all of the stuff that's in it um, can cause any of your uh, cleaners or anything like that to break down and and cause mold. You don't really want to do that. Okay, I'm using an essential oil that um, I got. Let's see if you can see that really well. I'm not sure, but it's called um, Baby Grace, and it's just a it's a baby scent. It, it reminds me of a baby powder. So if you like baby powder in your fabric softener. Um, you could use anything. I'm just going to do a few drops as this is cooling down. You don't want to add essential oils when this is too hot because the oils will burn, will burn off and you won't have any scent at all. It won't, you'll be wasting your essential oils. So you don't want to do that. So um, you can use this fabric softener two ways. Um, I like to put fabric softener, I have an H. E uh, washer and dryer where they're front loading so um, I have to really make sure that all the recipes that I watch are really good for high efficiency machines and 
most of them are just as long as it's low suds and you're not inundating the machine with a whole bunch of product and you're cleaning and maintaining your machine then you shouldn't have any issues with it. Um, so one of the ways that you can use this fabric softener is to pour it, uh, use two tablespoons, two or three tablespoons, in your fabric softener dispenser. And that could mean in your top loading, I think it's on the left side, most of them are on the left side that I've seen at Lowe's. And then the, I put mine in a drawer that says fabric softener. But I have a few friends of mine who say, love your fabric softener thing. I think that's great to save money, but I like fabric sheets only. I don't put fabric softener on my clothes. So um, for those of you who want to use fabric sheets uh, and don't want to use liquid in your laundry, you can still make this recipe. And what I do is I take a just a dish towel and I put the dish towel in the fabric softener. And then I wring it out. I wring it out just really, really, really well. I mean, I just keep wringing it until just nothing comes out of it. And then I take these and I put them in a, in a Ziploc bag and I can do enough for a week. Uh, occasionally I'll use the rag. Uh, it depends on what exactly I'm washing, uh, whether or not I put you know, fabric softener in the dispenser or I want to use one of these. But this is just barely damp and you just put this in the dryer with your wet clothes. Um, and just regular dry, then it'll take out all the fabrics uh, static and it'll also freshen your clothes. And then you can just reuse these over and over and over again and that'll save you from spending six dollars on a box of 300 dryer sheets or whatever it is that they cost. I'm just remembering the last time I bought them what they cost. You can also, uh, if you like a specific like bounce or gain uh, fabric uh, sheets, they have a distinctive smell. You can recreate that smell or get really super close to it with essential oils or, or any kind of you know lotion or fabric softener. Um, I've seen people make recipes with lotion too as well. So um, that's certainly something you could use, but I think it's a lower ratio. But for this particular recipe, it's just um, the conditioner. And this is 15 ounces. So about 15 ounces of um, fabric softener. Anyway, I hope this video helps to all my uh, family members. Here you go. Here's your fabric softener recipe. And uh, I hope you'll join us again next time. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you decide to share this uh, video with somebody, it's for both dryer sheets and liquid fabric softener. Everybody have a blessed and great rest of the week. See y'all next time. Okay, I'm going to show you how I... I store my fabric softener. I have a gallon jug and I'm going to pour this. I've got it resting over my sink. And I have a funnel and I'm just going to pour the fabric softener and this makes almost quite a, a gallon. Now some escaped into the sink, which is why I always put it into the sink. And as you can see, this is what I put my fabric softener in. It's just a water jug I found at the dollar store. So I just mark it fabric softener and I shake it really good before I pour it into my machine. Anyway, I hope this helps.